Papa Kai, dog. That sh yeah, definitely a humbling experience. Bro, in this matchup, Stun Dipper is definitely doing taxes, dog. I had the same matchup when you fight your dad. Damn, bro. Go to your room matchup. What's going on, guys? We are back today, and we're going to go ahead and talk about the Sims matchup chart. This character's been out for a couple of weeks now, so we're going to go ahead and talk about our thoughts of the matchup sheet and how he feels in the meta of Guilty Gear Strive. So before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you guys feel about the video, and let's jump into it right now. So this character's been out for what? Relatively three weeks? Everybody said this character was trash. This character had no future. He's bad. Worst DLC character in the United States of the world. Now, I'm gonna be honest. He definitely has some stuff that is, uh, whew. You do B-Driver on block, you might lose the tournament. I do think this character has a lot of potential and a lot of things. But, you know, let's talk about some of the matches. First things first, stepdad. He definitely get cooked by his his grandchild. This is crazy because as DLC characters come out, I feel like Soul struggles a lot with like some of these DLC characters. When I think about it, Testament's pretty annoying. Bridge is pretty annoying. Bike is pretty annoying. Happy Chaos, Go Lewis, a Jacko. Those characters alone definitely getting you run for your money. Sends air to air is really good. Ground to ground, you know, really got buttons to keep him out. His damage keeps up with Soul too. Sends like buttons like. All as a whole is pretty hard for so I feel. Yo, what's going on guys? So look, hey, we are on our way to 100K and I feel like it's time for me to give you guys a giveaway. You already know, bars, okay? We got some cool stuff that I'm gonna be giving out. If you guys want this right here, boom. You see how beautiful this is, bro? So you guys wanna have a chance to win this image apparel that we have, this amazing Guilty Gear Plus R. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And let me know, man. Let me know if you guys really want this, man. It's gonna be free. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel. Go, 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 go. But now we're talking about Kai, bro. I don't know what it is, bro, but Papa Kai, dog? That sh yeah, definitely a humbling experience. Bro, in this matchup, Stun Dipper is definitely doing taxes, dog. Anything I do is against Stun Dipper, bro. His butt is just cooked. I had the same matchup when you fight your dad? Damn, bro. Go to your room matchup? The air to air game is actually pretty, pretty okay. But Kai's jump K and jump slash is goaded, bro. So you're fighting against that and that shit is already a challenge. May is, sometimes I feel like it's cooking, but to be honest with you, like um, a lot of May's normals are actually so good. And because my normals are slow, that makes May normals even better. So I think in the button war, this character definitely fight Sin. It was funny because previous game, matchup was pretty hard for me. But now this matchup is pretty simple for me, dog. May is definitely out here throwing buttons out, Toso Geki all over the place. You can't complain about it. Well, I mean, you complain about it because, you know, F May. Axel. Challenging but fun because uh, Axel has weaknesses. And if you can, like, play around and kind of, like, tame him in and box him in as a character, you have a chance to win. Definitely not in Sin's favor, but it's a fun matchup, but I think uh, if they speed up since normals, it would be it wouldn't be so bad. Oh my god, whoo, bro! This matchup is not fun, bro. This is a rough, struggling ass matchup, bro. I feel like I can't press anything in this matchup, and the character is literally just fight. I feel like honestly in this matchup, I can't use all of my tools, and what makes it worse, my six P loses to like his jump heavy slash Potemkin. Uh, this character literally, literally is eating Sinja's patch. Bro, that one, yeah, that day one pot definitely made us something. I humbly disagree pot cooked this fella. Oh, he cooked it? He cooked it then? All right, Faust. This matchup is challenging but fun, bro. This matchup is just really hard because my buttons are slow. He can crawl over everything. His air buttons are really good. His jump P is really good. Again, a challenge, but you could definitely work your magic. It's funny because both of these characters are very fast, right? But Milia's return actually doesn't make this hard as much. But because Milia is very fast, it's very hard for Sin to really place his buttons to like stop her. So I wouldn't say Sin is cooking, but it's definitely an even as hell matchup. Another thing that makes this matchup a bit hard for Milia too is that Sin 6P hits like super like high in the air so I feel like that naturally really is very bad for Nova like all the thin buttons hit like in a straight line in the air 
and some moves have like it catches like above his head so it's hard for Millie to kind of like deal with that you know what I mean now Zada this matchup is a challenge but it's fun and the reason why this matchup is challenging is because all of my normals are so slow it is so hard to safely close the gap when he has so many buttons that really just stop his game plan invite to hell stops elk jab stop elk hunt stop on a button stop speed driver and then me jumping at zato is definitely not a good idea either it's a really really like patient discipline matchup right but when you do get in against zato getting in on zato when his eddie is dead is so crucial and it's so hard at the same time ramathon too fast man she out buttons you and then like when she gets close and press 2k you don't have buttons to stop that either. If your character's supposed to be good in the mid-range, Ram just stomps you. I agree. I think she stomps all the mid-range characters. Except for Naga. Which Naga also stomps all the mid-range characters. <laughs> but yeah, she's mad fast. But I will say something that people may agree on. But Sin air to air against Ramathaw is actually in Sin's favor. The problem is, is Sin doesn't have, a, doesn't have a lot of tools to make you jump. Because you could just 6P everything. Sin definitely has air-to-air -air normals, but you know, people jump because they're afraid of the ground. But if you're not afraid of the ground, you don't ever jump. Sin kind of cooks Leo a little bit, just a little bit. What gives Leo a hard time is because he's a charge character, if you want him to like dragon punch a lot, that means that like he's committing to like holding down back, right? So Sin has a lot of moves to like really mess with charge characters. It's hard to tell whether or not if I'm gonna do like a, a tight block string or not. So even if you're thinking that you're gonna be able to dragon punch here, like you really can't. You know, as I talk about it, it sounds even even as hell because I definitely don't sound convincing. Nagori Yuki, I mean, bro, every time I enter a tournament, he's there, bro. I'm gonna I'm make it work, but oh God, man, like, ugh. Why y'all letting them whip sh I feel like I gotta be a Buddhist monk, dude. I feel like I'm playing poker. I'm gonna elk hunt, ha, jump, anti-air. Am I gonna jump? I'm gonna convince you I'm not gonna jump. Uh, 5K, dead. And I'm like, all right, I'm attacking with my button. My button is like, it's almost there, 2F, boom. Yeah. And then, you know, after all of that, bro, he playing, he playing the game. I'm like, uh, do I not really have any answers with any of the characters I play? Is it really the same idea? I'm like, there's no way. There's no way he cooks all of the characters I like. I was like, yo, Sin is back. Let's go, Sin. We got new answers. Bro, he still get cooked by him, bro. No, no way to make Nago jump at me, bro. None. 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 None whatsoever. He could just press buttons. And that's what makes that matchup really hard. I don't have no way to convince him to jump. If he would jump, that would make the matchup way better for Sin. But because he has no tools to force him to jump, that sh is terrible. Because when Nago has to jump on Sin, his 6P is so brawlic. He, bro, you know what's crazy? Sin has like so many good tools, but he can't use it in the matchup because you don't need to jump. You don't need to be up there anymore. You just beat him in the ground. So it's like, damn. Bro, you know what the problem is, Libby? This is gonna go into level two. <laughs> It don't matter, it's scarier. That's basically what all Doggo players do. You think they play you in level zero? Nah, bro, they like, oh, I got blood? Spin that sh Giovanna, mad annoying, bro. But it's fun because I feel like Sam could keep her out is just really annoying because she could just dash up in your face, but your return is so good. So it's a challenging but fun matchup. Uh, definitely don't think it's even, but you know, definitely I, I could play it out. 5P is actually insane in this matchup because she don't have like a quite crazy like high air dash. She like kind of goes like like straight, really good at anti-air her. The only thing she has really going is that like when she gets up close, it's a really hard, like, it's really hard to get her off. Anji is interesting. Elk Hunt goes under Shitsu, which is pretty good. Another thing too is uh, Beat Driver is very good against Anji as well because it forces him to parry. So, you know, a lot of people will try to do preemptive parry to kind of like get Sin. So I feel like he has a lot of far range moves to, to force the Anji to try to keep taking risks. The only thing that I will say Anji really have going in this match is his fusion uh like fusion setups if it's spaced correctly because my buttons are so slow he can really take advantage of that i think this might be his best matchup i looked down in the in the dlc list i was like who's left i said oh nah <laughs> this, this is definitely the best one right here when eno shoot the note holds down and let's say for example she tried to call out your elk hunt he can recover fast enough and stop her air approach even though like Santa's getting hit 
it's still technically not her turn. She still has to guess. And that's really bad for Eno. 5B is, 5P is really good. 5K is really good. 2S is super good too. You know, Eno is already minus everywhere. So it just makes things even 10 times harder to deal with. So I definitely think this is my, this is Sin's best matchup. I think Matt, I think this matchup is pretty hard for Go Lewis. Elk does not go under drone, but Sin's Dragon Punch avoids drone pretty well. I thought it was even at first, but since air normals against Go Lewis is like good. It's like really good, baby. But I do agree that like air behemoth typhoon is good against Sin. But if Sin start using jump P, jump heavy slash, it's hard for Go Lewis, you know? This is a challenge matchup. Not that bad. Uh, I think the hardest part in this matchup, honestly, is again, slow buttons and her being able to like dance around and like do a lot of shit. Very annoying to like deal with, right? mid-range but i feel like once sin closed the gap it's really good it's not a lot of stuff that jacko could really do to like kind of get him off sin besides mashing 2k and praying that low profile low profiles my crushing overhead that shit is annoying i don't know why it's like that but for some weird reason guys low crush moves loses to low profile attacks in this game jack is one of those characters they be mashing that 2k happy chaos this matchup is even Sin has a lot of ways to really fight Happy Chaos. However, the hardest thing I want to say in this matchup is dealing with the downloadable 2K. The DLC 2K in this whole game, I don't know if Arxis just think that this is just cool or fun. The kicks just going under buttons, like normal buttons, that are especially that is like your only defensive button. It's just naturally just hard against characters that are just very slow. To be fair, I feel like that is the biggest thing that Happy Chaos really has. The fact that he could just not really interact with that button. But outside of that, it's really hard for Happy Chaos to really kind of deal with it because Happy Chaos don't have no defensive options. So Sin gets to kind of like go wild on him. And another thing as well, it's really good, is air to air, Sin's very solid. Elkunt puts in a lot of work in this matchup. 2D puts a lot of work in this matchup. Definitely not impossible. I think the only impossible part is, you know, when ha Happy Chaos got the, the super and then he keeps shooting you with the with the with the green ball. Like that's really frustrating, really hard to deal with. A lot of people say Biking moves pretty badly against Sin, but I, I think it's pretty okay. I think Biking Sin is like, you know, this is a pretty okay matchup. One of the reasons why I say it's okay is because the range that Sin could like fight against Biking like far away, Perry does not trigger as like a hit you know being able to like kind of like force that rather than taking like crazy damage is always good biking trying to jump on sin is definitely not a good and strong uh, option to go but her that's where she shines the most it's like being in the air and like mixing her ground approach now however her ground to ground against sin is actually slightly in her favor but the return that sin gives is higher if that makes sense so yes biking wins in the mid range and, and, and so like that but when you want to count from hit to hit into like momentum change, Sin has that advantage. Testament. Oh. Oh. They are so annoying, bro. Oh my God. I played this matchup the most random. Random ass people who was in selection who wanted to play Testament that week and not Sin. I think Test win this slightly it is not the hardest matchup. I don't think that it's impossible for Sin to win. I just think that there's a lot of annoying flaws in how the game is structured right now. They, you know, before they had like bad recovery normals, but then Sin comes with the same problem that Testament has. I don't think it's the end of the world. I do think Sin has answers and solutions to get around it. However, it's very hard, but I do think once Sin get in, you can, you can lose. You have to have burst. He definitely opened you up very well. His strike throw game is really good. To sum it up, it's a pretty goddamn even matchup. A lot of people say this character beats Sin free. I don't feel that way. I feel like Sin can actually fight her toe to toe in a lot of ways. She's very agile, which is really hard to catch. But Sin has a lot of moves that are that really snipe. Like he has a lot of good sniping moves, snipe all the stuff that she's doing. So it doesn't feel impossible. And her damage output being so low sometimes also doesn't make that matchup uh, as bad. Her 2S actually cleans up Elk Hunt pretty easily, but because Bridget has a lot of recovery in her in her buttons, you can whiff punish 
a lot. And um, that makes it very hard because the moment Sen gets in off of a whiff punish, you gotta take that. Bridget reverse lobs is also pretty poor and to fight, like she don't have really great defensive buttons, but she has a lot of buttons to keep Sen out, which is good. So, you know, even the matchup could both go both ways. Definitely one of the funnest matchups I've played. This is my matchup chart for Sin. Dodge these characters as much as you can. If you don't dodge them, make sure you have that boost to fight these characters because they're going to body you. Uh, everybody else, you know, challenge but fun can definitely dance around these characters. Like, if you're really good that day and you're playing really solid, you can beat these characters right here. But you have to be, like, manifesting that, bro. You got to manifest that you're going to win, dog. Yeah, you gotta go to church before to beat the top row, dog. Otherwise, losers bracket. Losers bracket.